Part 1 was about the fabrication of the base. Part 2 is about the flowers. This is where the beauty comes in. This commission is a different kind of sculpture. It is about finding the joy and beauty in amongst the polarities of the big and heavy and the light and feminine um, within that sculpture. After spatially looking at the base, nine stems were chosen to be polished and cleaned. The flowers were hand drawn on the bronze and then individually cut out on the plasma cutter. What I'm doing is the flower is made out of bronze and then I am inlaying stainless for the center um, and on the back side for the attachment point that it is going to meet the stainless steel stems on. The most important thing to me right now as I'm creating is just to generate love. Love, 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 love. As I do that, the form just, just takes its shape so beautifully and it's just with ease. So create with love. Doesn't even actually matter what you're doing. Whatever it is, do it with love. You know, how, how many of us spend time in our day just ruminating about some awful thing that happened during our day or something that we could have done better? Yeah, okay, live, learn, figure it out, do it, but then stop, just stop. Right now, I am generating and thinking about things that I love in my life. And when we spend time on those things of just loving, then there's more of that that comes, where our attention goes, energy flows, and this right here, right now, is about putting attention on love and fun and joy and ease, and that's what gets created right here, right now, in the moment. An art commission is when a client hires an artist to create a custom piece of artwork specifically for them. The client typically has a specific location that the piece will live and or even sometimes a particular concept in mind. Then as an artist, I do my best to bring that idea to life. My job is to get out of the way, tap into the energetic essence of the piece. And what that does is it allows a new level of creativity to flow so that I can fabricate a one-of-a-kind piece that resonates with the truth of who they are. When purchasing art, I always try to obtain an original. There is such a difference between the originals and the copies. Commissioned artwork is even better because it's a great way to obtain a piece of original art that's not only meaningful, but can also be a wonderful investment. When I look back in my career, my original butterfly sold for about $65, $70. And a piece now, if you want one, um, they're done only on commission and they sell for about $500 a piece. 
you know, that's a successful investment. Art is amazing to live with, and there's nothing like putting the original art in your home. And this piece that I'm working on is really to bring so much love and beauty as a reflection for the owner. Okay, keeping the um, eighth inch rod totally straight, stainless steel. And I'm just bending the tip here because I'm looking for, at least on this particular flower, I'm looking for a slight curve forward. And then I will go back through and bend um, all the stems in relation to where their leaves are and all that kind of stuff as we're putting it together. But right now it's just getting these babies attached, polished, cleaned, and ready to roll that way. Each one of the flowers has a very distinctive, correct top and bottom. It's really important because when they come together as a grouping, it really makes the difference between success of a sculpture or not. The relationship between the pieces is, is super important. And so it's great to take my time here to figure that part out. I like a super clean connection on the back here. So I want it to be just perfectly smooth and natural the way that it comes out. And now it'll be polishing that all over again. There's so much polishing that um, it's worth it in the end, as you'll see. Santos and lavender and cedar in my herbal mix to bless that lovely feminine balanced with the masculine in forgiveness and joy. So that's the brew that I'm blessing the flowers with today. sculpture is super similar to balancing our own human energies and these materials the the stainless steel bronze and copper are so strong and masculine yet the forms that are being created with it are so feminine and and so it creates this amazing balance of, of beauty because it feels so good. And you don't always necessarily know why, and I know that I don't know what I'm creating, but in the final form of it, it just sets right in our hearts. And, and it, it, it's a beautiful thing, and it's really about that balance. So, ah, it's such a pleasure to get to be working on this. Very cool. Mm, doesn't look like much right now, but they're coming. Gonna have to get in there with that sucker to get in the teeny tiny little spices. It's all about how the light hits each and every hot, every edge and petal and everything. So it's super important to work all the way through it.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and share it with a friend. Here's a sneak peek about attaching the leaves and the flowers onto the base for the final episode where you'll see the actual on-site installation.